Wow, I can't tell if that's thunder or fireworks. Why are people setting off fireworks? Why have people been setting off fireworks all week long? Hello, folks. Welcome back, for I am the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. I just needed a little break. Um, that's why we saw El Vagabundo a couple days ago. It's nice to change things up every so often. Um, but I am back! A little scruffy looking. Yeah, it's, it's been a long week. It was my one day off, too. And this is what I'm doing. Wow. Actually, I managed to do a lot. Not as much as I wanted to, mainly because of the weather, <laughs> but I still have so much to do. Whoa. But enough about me. Let's talk about some other people as we get into the SmackDown show. Some thank yous to give. I think other people were bored as well because I don't know why. This was a darn good SmackDown. But I'll tell you what. Dan Halen! You sort of earned that six count. Well, I think that came over my mic. I am the table again! You, sir, know how to play that air guitar.
Octagon City. You, sir, can crawl out of here. Jack Power, you always win by dirty pen somehow. Matsu. You are always welcome in the El Generico Band. And not only does Jordan has back, but so does Buttocks. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Yeah, I'm not gonna put that up. I'm not, I'm just gonna show a picture of that. So, again, if you'd like to be mentioned, you can find me over there on Discord at WooTube. Or you can send me an email, which I check every so often. Or you can probably better you can put a comment in any of these very distinguished YouTube channels. So it's time to talk about SmackDown. I want to get this done so I can get to my July 4th celebration. Put that together. Let's see here. Sarah Schreiber, you do not have coronavirus. That's a good thing. Um, so SmackDown starts off with a quick preview again. I like this. I like this when they when they do like two to five minutes. That's all you need. It's like this is what happened. This is what will happen with this two to five minute spread. Good stuff. Uh, Matt Riddell comes in, dude, bro. You should not be talking about. Um, yeah, having child bro, bro, again, a very fine line he's on, even though he has taken legal notice and WWE has been informed about everything that, about his past. So open something, um, WWE knew he said, yep. This is all my baggage. Take a look. You still like me? Bro. But yeah. Something about him talking about about fathering children just doesn't seem right. And then he told a story about bare feet. You're just a dope. No one just wears tennis shoes in Wisconsin in the winter. What the hell are you thinking? It's the first way you get frostbite, you idiot. Stupid pothead, what were you on? Were you tipping cows or something? I know that is a Michigan man, you always wear boots. And you have waterproof boots on. And you have like multiple layers of socks. Bro. It's like, yeah, man, my feet, man. Bro, guess what? You're an idiot. A stupid idiot. To quote one Chris Jericho. And um, then King Corbin interrupts him. And it's like, you do you, bro. What the hell does that mean? That sounds even dumber than, hey, you're not me. Is it possible that Riddell has worse writing than Baron Corbin? Indeed. Well, we shall see. Uh, so, this, so he just interrupts. 
And King Corbin obviously has booking powers. So he's like, you know what? You're not going to fight me. You're going to fight John Morrison. John Morrison comes out. Oh, amazing stuff. Um, John Morrison was very technical in this match. Very collegiate, very map-based MMA style. That's good. I, I don't think I've ever seen MMA style from Johnny Mundo, Johnny Impact. John Morrison. So that's good. I I like seeing these differences. He is the probably most versatile wrestler on this SmackDown roster. And he gets trashed. Terrible. I don't think they did the slow-mo entrance either. I do like that slow-mo entrance. He came out with the Miz. Um, John Morrison, very technical. Uh, Matt Riddell, he went for a heel hook. Morrison recognized that right away, went right to the ropes, said, no, I'm not dealing with this. Again, it was a great counter to Kimura into the body slam. Um, there was the one move. Baron Corbin said something smart. When people get, get punched and they have wobbly legs, first thing they want to do is grab. If you watch MMA, either in the uh, UFC, oh, Strike Force. There were a few others. But any big league MMA, someone gets rocked by a punch. You know what the first thing they do? They go for a takedown. They're like, I don't want any of this. Baron Corbin speaks the truth about that. Uh, then Matt Riddell goes for the ankle lock. Uh, John Morrison rolls through. He keeps it as a keyhole that, a key, key on the ankle. That's great. Morrison, the springboard knee is amazing. Oh, uh, the Miz on the outside is trying to do, hey, hey, ho, ho, Miz and Morrison. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Miz and Morrison. He tried. He got a few people to sing along with him. That's pretty good. Um, again, Morrison, that springboard, everything, he's so good at it. Uh, he's so quick and agile off the ropes. There's a one sequence. He went from like corner to corner, weaving through the ropes. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We, we need slow motion magic here. That was great stuff. Oh, and those knees. Oh, that was, those were so vicious. Again, the, the trading of kicks and then chops. <laughs> Mark's just like, I've had enough of this. Bonk. The eye poke. That's Smart. I'm not going to trade blows with this guy. I have an eye poke. I can use that. That's going to give me some advantage. He's smart. He knows where he is in the ring. He knows how to stretch things. He knows how to take advantage of situations. He's so much better than he's being booked as. Wow. And then Rodell comes back. Fisherman Buster. Oh, wow. Then the bro to sleep. That was good to see. Um, again, Morrison did everything except for the... Oh, well, I'll get to get everything except for the... Starship Bay! Because he hit both a Spanish fly from the top rope and a standing Spanish fly. And, and they, just, they, they just buried the Spanish fly. Spanish fly was at one time was was the near ultimate finishing maneuver, just like the pile driver. In one match, they said, "That's the end of that." Just like they did with the Canadian destroyer, they said, Pfft. "We don't care about the Canadian destroyer. We only care about pile driver." Pile drivers are pretty cool. But I'll tell you what: seeing a well time Spanish fly, the fact that they zonked it is not good though. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Eventually, I think tapped out to the bro mission. That was smart. Um, so, oh no, he didn't tap out. He got caught in the bro mission. But then he, it was a trade of roll ups. Maradell like rolled him up in like a banana split situation. Which is really cool to see. Again, you you bring in those collegiate style moves, 
I like that stuff. I enjoy that stuff. Um, Matt Riddell won by Banana Split Roll-Up. Awesome. I'll tell you what, they did so much in this match. SmackDown did so right this first hour because this, folks, was a surf and turf match. AJ Styles came in and beat up Matt Riddell. And then Drew Gulak came in and beat him up. And that way, very little segment that leads into our next match. Because there was only like really a two-minute interview. Again, I don't mind these short segments in between. These short segments must make sense. Sarah Schreiber uh, started to interview Baron Corbin, uh, The Miz, and Morrison. It's like, did you not hear me, Sarah Schreiber? So, Sarah Schreiber, you do not have coronavirus. You still have a job. Um, so, that that was, again, less than two minutes. All they needed transitions into the match. AJ Styles and Drew Gulak, what's happening in the ring? Uh, AJ Styles goes, he goes New Japan. Starts off, double throat chop, right to Drew Gulak. Gulak. Again, um, I want to know, did AJ Styles, as AJ Styles, ever face Drew Gulak as Soldier Ant as part of the colony in Shikara, mainly during the King of Trios? I'll tell you what, that was pretty good. Um, Gulak, again, he, he makes his comeback. He's so good. And then AJ Styles is something I don't think I've seen. I don't think I've ever seen it. I've seen heels rake, uh, rub the eyes against the rope. But this time, AJ Styles rubbed the eyes or temple of Drew Gulak along the ring apron. AJ's being creative. Again, this first hour of SmackDown was so good. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that. If I did see it, you're talking like decades ago. Like Baron Von Rapsky decades ago versus Chief J. Strongbow and Wahoo McDaniels. Long time ago. That's a long time ago. But that was good. Uh, Daniel Bryan, every so often, gives comments by Zoom. That's fun to see. Um, AJ Styles, he never took his shirt off. So so AJ Styles knew he was going to win. Uh, Gulak makes a semi-comeback. AJ Styles going for a calf crusher, but no. Uh, Drew Gulak holds on to the ropes. And he does. Drew Gulak's puts in a pretty nasty-looking armbar, chin lock. Almost a rest hold, but the, the ref sells it more like a submission. It's good to see. If they need a break, at least he's saying, hey, I have a submission lock in. Maybe I'll get him to tap. Uh, Gulak then, uh, AJ goes to the outside. Gulak hits a baseball slide. We go to break. AJ Styles uh, with the North-South, um, which, which, which looks to me like a North-South Americana. I'm like, whoa. AJ Styles has really expended his repertoire. He has to dig into that freaking bingo book of wrestling techniques, saying, what can I use to beat this? person who's so skilled or maybe he's going back to his jays and, and shikara who knows i mean he has some amazing matches especially in the king of trios and i know drew gulak was soldier ant in the king of trios i'll also uh, check out tomorrow for my july 4th celebration video i hope you guys like it um I don't think that was a tribute to July 4th. I think they only do tribute shows or tributes on the day, not like the day before or day after. Unless, it, unless like, I mean, if, say, Big John Stud passes away, they would do that that whole week. But, again, that's something entirely different. Uh, again, Drew Gulak, nailed the snake eyes on AJ Styles. That was great to see, AJ Styles. And he gets caught, but then he did the Styles clash onto Drew Gulak, but uh -uh, that's not enough. AJ Styles tempting the top rope. Again, a reference from Shikara. 
Uh, he, he set up Drew Gulak along the rope, went to the opposite rope, hit the phenomenal forearm. AJ Styles won. Man, this was another surf and turf match. And then you knew it was coming. They had the extra long seg talking segment. Bosh, uh, I'm sorry, I was almost going to say Basha and, and Staley. But no, it's Bailey and Sasha. This is your life. Oh. It wasn't as bad as that, I promise. They didn't mention The Undertaker a lot. Um, th thankfully, Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross came in. Um, Nikki Cross. Is now the self proclaimed Queen of Scots. Indeed. Maybe I could be the Lord of the Beach or, or King of the Hobo. Oh, I'd settle for the Hobo Lord. The Lord of the Hobos. Who am I? That's a Eddie Rathler somewhat paraphrased thing. Uh, Alexa. Something that Alexa can slap. I do not want to be slapped by Alexa. Uh, so the next match sets up Alexa Bliss taking on Bailey. Bailey seals a t-shirt on. That means something screwy is going to happen. Bailey's going to win. Um, the oh yeah, Alexa Bliss did the. Can't do it because I can't see more of my nose. Boop to the nose. It's like, and then the slap. Wow, she got booped. There's my kitty cat. Uh, she might be staring at birds. <laughs> saw a bird got in my garage today and like pooped on my dryer. So I saw a purple bird crap on it. I mean, chase it out. I could have came in any time. It was like thundering here. This is this is the wet season in Florida. Not, not so much hurricane. Well, it is hurricane season. We haven't had a hurricane yet. It's definitely the rainy season, though, because I think every day this week it's rain. Every day next week it's supposed to rain, which I'm fine with. I just want it to pour, like, tomorrow. That way, okay, it's rain. It's your customers coming in the store. Again, Saturday and Sunday and rain drives people away. One of the few good things about working in an open air mall as a part as a true part time job, which I might be leaving soon. But yeah, well, we'll see how that goes. It's always nice to have money. Money is good. Money talks, folks. Money talks, just like ACDC says. Up in this match again, and the nose booth. Alexa is a slapper. Dude, I don't ever want to get on her bed, so she'll slap the shit out of me. Uh, Bailey tried to disarm her, and then with a finger spread, went for very shoulder breakers, arm breakers. <laughs> yeah, with her crotch. That's funny. Someone brought that up in Discord. That was just funny. Uh, Bailey definitely working over the arm. Sasha Banks on the outside. Sasha Banks was wearing... The Women's Smackdown Championship. Mm. Not holding it, mind you, but wearing it. She was holding the other two belts. The other the Women's Tag Team belts. But wearing that Women's Smackdown Championship. Indeed. Um, what else? Uh, Sasha Banks was outside yapping it up. Nikki, uh, Sasha gets involved. So Nikki eventually goes after Sasha. Nikki has enough of it. Uh, she starts being a Bailey because Bailey said, you can't beat up my friend Sasha. <laughs> Nikki cries and, oh, yeah? Wow. Uh, that was it. Alexa gets DQ'd. We got a film, folks. A dusty teeth bugger of a mat. Because Bailey won. But because the because the look the blitz got DQ'd by Nikki Croft, the Queen of Scots slapped the taste and commodity out of Bailey's mouth. So it's a dusty old 
cheeseburger, baby. And then we had a brain brawn history lesson. Yeah, that is what it was. Then we had Kofi Kingston taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. New Day come out. Fun as always. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, Cesaro come out. Very businesslike. Very distinct um, clash of styles there. Um, Kofi's first off very fast as a stunt to Shinsuke. Uh, the drop kick off the second row. And Kofi was just going after Shinsuke Nakamura right away on the outside. Shinsuke Nakamura uh, beats up Kofi until he makes his comeback on the outside. Until he, well, actually until Kofi rams Shinsuke into the boards. That's a boarding pen penalty. Shame on you. Go to penalty box and feel shame for two minutes. Uh, then into the boards. Uh, Biggie's just laughing. Biggie. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Big E, tranquilo a little bit. Uh, uh, Cesaro eventually causes distraction. He chases Cesaro through the ring. You know what Ref just says? You, Big E, you're out of here. And you, Cesaro, you're out of here. He tosses both of them out, showing her true authority. Unlike those referees in the AEW, uh, no authority, authority, except for Aubrey. Uh, Shinsuke, he has a big, big back elbow. Uh, Kofi, kind of awkward knee off of the roll. It was like weird. Uh, Kofi and SOS, but Shinsuke Nakamura uh, came out of it. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. Dude, I don't know what that was. The Kinshasa or Shiny's Wizard. But he looked like he legit nailed Kofi Kingston and knocked him out. This match was okay. Uh, Kofi Antics, yeah, it was a cheeseburger match. That and this was actually a really good fast paced SmackDown. And then we had the Jeff Hardy Sheamus Toast. And I don't want mine out. Nope. Only under my supervision. Even Char uh, Charles Manson. Manson. The at one time most evil man in America got one hour and the yard, my fuzz muffin gets her ten minutes. No. Resend. My cell phone's been doing that. My cell phone wants me to do weird stuff. It wants me to like sign my life away or something. But that's okay. This lives up to the Jeff Hardy. That's the reason I got my cell phone out, actually. Um, so Jeff Hardy um, and oh, um, Seamus Toast. I'll tell you what. They had a nice freaking spread. But I'll tell you what. There's no way they're spread, even though they had some good stuff. They did have like Elijah Craig. Um, it was either Elijah Craig or Angel Envy Bourbon. I'll tell you what, this is just my Scotch, tequila, rum, and bourbon bar setup. So again, my spread was probably equal to that of what WWE had. So that's pretty cool looking. Again, this was just. I'll probably keep this up until Triple Mania. 
Uh, Easter, you get the full bar because I'm still not showing all the vodkas, gin, um, other spirits, apartifs, digestifs, and all the other fun stuff I keep underneath the bar. But yeah, um, you know the bartender was going to beat up. Bartender got beat up. Enough said. Yeah, whatever that was. Um, that was terrible. They they might as well have done that last week. Whatever. Um, but I'll tell you what. So this is done. Wow, I'm done. Um, overall, jeez, two cheeseburgers, two surf and turfs. The segments were good. I'll say this was a surf and turf for all, uh, SmackDown.